for various reasons. But again, I don't know. I can't speculate on stuff. If somebody says, oh, Tyler Perry stole my idea or something like that, I don't know. I have no idea. Um, I would just say for sure, though, that there are pathways to protecting your ideas and if you do share them. And one thing I will say, too, is sometimes we, we, we get into in the black community, we have to be really careful about hero worship. Um, there was a young lady that I know who's really talented and she's actually worked at Tyler Perry studio. She'd worked with 50 cent. She's worked with um, some other uh, platforms. I forget which other ones. And uh, one thing I remember talking to her about was I said, you talk to me a lot about how amazing all these other people are. And I said, one thing that the problem with that is that you're so busy seeing how great they are that you don't see how great you are. You know, and I said, honestly, I, I, I said, I know celebrities, I see them. Right. And, uh, and I can tell when someone has talent and when they don't, and I think you have as much talent as all of them, you know, but I said, but, but you'll never see it. If you don't see it, if you, if you're, if you're so busy looking at other, what other, everybody else got, you don't see what you got. So, so, so one of the biggest challenges, a, a big consciousness problem in our community, in my opinion, is that we spend a lot of time really worshiping celebrities and putting them on a pedestal. And I think that that's inappropriate. And, and it's, it's just, it's just bad policy because not only does it take away your, the amount of time and energy you can spend understanding what you have, but it's also sometimes it's BS. Sometimes a, a person is only famous because white people put them on TV. And one thing that I can tell you is from me knowing famous people and hearing the stories that the public does not hear, you will be absolutely amazed at what some of these Negroes did to get their, their little opportunity. If you know what I mean, you'd be amazed at how many, how many of these famous celebrities that you love was bending over on everybody's casting couch to get that movie role. I'm talking about people that you look at. Oh my God. Yeah, I admire you so much. <laughs> I get it. But I don't I don't think you should spend more time celebrating what they did than 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 really speculating and visualizing what you can do. I, I just I just don't I don't think it should be it should be overhyped because remember, a lot of them are famous because white people selected them to put them on TV. So by virtue of you being the an intelligent black person who's who's unapologetically black, there are opportunities by default that they're going to receive that you will never, ever get. You will never get that. I'm sorry to tell you this, but but hanging out with people like me is not going to make you popular in America. Listening to the philosophies that I share with you and applying them is not going to open doors to corporate America and really make you the most favored Negro. It's not. So if your goal is to climb the ladder in the Democratic Party, you, you better not tell your boss that you listen to people like me. If you're trying to, I talked to a sister the other day who worked with a major corporation. They, they had me come speaking and she had me on our podcast. And I said, I was really afraid for you because you having me come speak at your job. You got to be careful. That might get you fired. You know, th th this is this is just the reality of what it is. So so I would say to you, the best thing you can learn how to do, the best thing you can learn is how to build your own, how to build things of your own and to be proud of that. Be proud of that.